Welcome to Tunachekis, Africa Breaking News. Ethiopia's Prime Minister-elect Dr. Abi Ahmed will be sworn in into office on April the 2nd. Ethiopia's Coalition Council voted Abi earlier this week as Prime Minister to replace Haile Mariam, who resigned his post this February. Only 41 years old, he is well educated and expected to make major reforms in Ethiopia and drive the oldest country in Africa to a bright future. Almost nowhere else have uh, geopolitical forces and regional uh, ambitions combined to exhibit volatile time and geopolitical uh, contestation. Chaos in the region has a dire effect in the global affairs. Therefore, uh, solving the conflict which encompasses national, regional and global dimensions requires courage, hope, and unshakable uh, conviction. Above and beyond the decisive involvement of our government, the stakeholders should come together to secure peace and security. Because delayed solution to this regional conflict could take the Horn of Africa back into uh, unforeseen uh, chaos. And in other African breaking news this week, comes from Egypt in North Africa, where President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi won Egypt's election with 92% of the vote. Egypt state media reported that 23 million out of 60 million registered voters turned out. Egypt is an integral part of Africa, and our return is quite natural, a return to relations with our sister countries and partners in Africa. And in fact, it goes back several centuries. It's a policy uh, that has been constant uh, on the part of Egypt with respect to its sister countries. In I am responsible for the security and safety of 100 million Egyptians. Where are the human rights of the soldiers who've been killed, of the martyrs and their families, their mothers? their widows during the past three years. Did you like our video? Please let us know in the comments below and share our video with friends and family to support the channel.